Yo, ebu suyami mwa kwa ba, mini edi kwa ku anoche. Ene, yen se mginan se, the Bible never lies. The Bible never contradicts itself. The Bible never deceives. But instead, the people who are reading the Bible to us, who are telling us about the Bible, they are misleading us. They are lying. They are contradicting themselves. They are the ones that are deceiving us, not the Bible. What does the Bible say? Isn't that so sad that you can't even ask a simple question when so-called men of God are talking from this same Bible, but we can't ask them any question. We can't question them about something we don't understand. We can't ask them anything. When we do that, we are challenging God. Is that the case? Are we asking questions per what they are saying, per what they are teaching us, or we are challenging God? Are they God? Are they representing God? And now, are they God? So if we don't understand anything, can't we ask, ask questions? So if we cannot ask questions, if we cannot know, then how are they teaching us? And what are they teaching us? So please, the Bible never lies. The Bible never contradicts itself. The Bible never deceives anyone. The interpretation, the explanation from the Bible are the ones that are deceiving. People are misinterpreting what the Bible, are, the Bible is saying. People are mis uh, 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 giving wrong explanations about the Bible, which is not the truth, which is not so. If any man is trying to teach you anything from the Bible, ask yourself, is that what the Bible is saying? So if that is not what the Bible is saying, you have every right to ignore it. If you really, really believe in the Bible, if you are really, really a child of God, if you are really, really trusting God, if you do trust God and you trust the Bible, anything from any man of God, whoever... If the person is teaching you something that is not from the Bible, ignore it. Don't take it. The Bible is not based on what people think, what people feel, what people assume. That is not part of the Bible. There is no assumption in the Bible. There is no such feeling in the Bible. There is nothing like that. Don't be misleading. Don't be misled. Because people are misleading every one of us. Wrong information, wrong explanations, wrong interpretations. Making the Bible feel it's not true, it's not the truth. Please, the Bible never lies. The Bible never lies. Rather, the people so-called men of God, these so-called men of God are lying. They are lying to us. They are misinterpreting what the Bible is saying. And it's so sad that we can't ask them questions. That is my biggest problem. Why can't we ask questions when we don't understand something? If it is what the Bible is saying, if it is what exactly the Bible tells us to do, why can't we ask questions? What stops us from asking them questions? Why can't we ask questions? That is what I, I don't understand. What stops us from, from asking questions when we don't understand? Because when they are about to read the Bible, each and every one of us is allowed to read the same Bible. We are all reading the Bible with them. But during the explanations or the interpretations, they are doing it alone. Per their my, I mean, per their knowledge, per their assumption, per their feelings, and that is not part of the Bible, because the Bible makes it clear. And God says, "My thoughts are not your thoughts." So, if God's thoughts are not their thoughts, who are they to think what the Bible is not thinking? Who are they to say what the Bible is not saying? Don't be misled. Please read your Bible. The only way is to read your Bible. The only way to know the truth 
is to read your Bible with the help of the Holy Spirit and nothing else. Because if you listen to your pastor, if you listen to whoever that calls himself man of God, you will be misled. There will be wrong explanations for you. There will be a lot of misunderstanding. There will be a lot of contradictions. So before you say anything against the Bible, ask yourself, have you yourself read from the Bible? And if you read from the Bible and you are not getting the understanding you want, it is not speaking according to what you wanted to hear. It doesn't make the Bible lie. That does not mean the Bible is lying. The fact that you are not hearing what you're supposed to hear or what you wish to hear or what you feel like hearing from the Bible, if you are not hearing it, it does not in any way make the Bible a liar. Because if you think and assume of any other thing behind or beside the Bible, you will get it wrong. So before you will understand the Bible clearly, you need the help of the Holy Spirit because the only inspiration behind the book was the Holy Spirit. So you need the Holy Spirit to understand the Bible. You can't read the Bible with your own knowledge, with your own assumption, and based on what you think. So please, read the Bible with Holy Spirit. Thank you. My name is Kweku Anache. Please do subscribe to my channel if today is your first time for more of this video. I thank you on Facebook, Kweku Anache. Instagram, Kweku Anache 2. Twitter, Kweku Anache 16. And um, TikTok, Kweku Anache 2. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you so much. Bless you. Bye-bye.